So in this video, we're gonna show you the top five handheld diagnostic scan tools for Mazda in 2024 and 2025. We'll show you the cheapest through to the most expensive and explain what kind of features and functions each of these tools will have. We'll put links to all of these kits in the description below and in the pinned comment, just so it makes it a little bit easier for you to find them. You need to be careful though, because fakes and clones do exist. They are on the market and they can damage your vehicle. So by using the links below, it will take you to the genuine and official products and at the end of the video I'll show you which of these tools I would personally buy with my personal money for my personal Mazda based on what I know about these tools haven't had the opportunity to use them quite a lot recently so I know the ins and outs of pretty much all of the tools okay at the end of the video I'll also show you a high-end tool which is kind of like a bonus tool which goes over and above everything that we see on the table uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it and if by the end of this video, you're still unsure about which tool to go for, then please do send us an email. I'll pop the email address in the description. Give us your vehicle information and we can recommend something for you based on your needs and what it is you're looking to do. Okay, so we're gonna start at this end of the table. This is the iCarsoft MHM version 1.0 tool. MHM standing for Mazda, Honda, and Mitsubishi, all right? Um, it is uh, an all system scan tool. So let's say you've got a fault in one of the main systems of your vehicle, something like the engine, you've got a check engine light, an ABS, an airbag, a transmission fault, or even one of the other systems like the power steering, central locking, HVAC system, something like that, then this tool will allow you to diagnose faults in those systems, okay? Um, it does come with one built-in service function. You'll hear me talking about service functions quite a bit in this video. So the service function in included with this tool is the ability to do the oil service resets or the maintenance resets. So if you've got that warning light on your dashboard, then this, will, this tool will allow you to do that reset, okay? Uh, it'll do all of your live data as well, but that's the MHM version 1.0 and this is probably seen as kind of like an entry level into diagnostics, an entry level into getting a tool which is just really focusing on your current problem, okay? Um, it may not be the tool to go for if you're possibly thinking about a tool for now and the future, but we'll come to that uh, throughout the video, okay? So we then move on to the JP version 2.0 tool, the JP standing for Japanese, so it actually covers your Mazda vehicle and all of the Japanese and Korean models as well. So. This is a good option if, uh, if you want a, a little bit more of an advanced tool than this tool. Um, this tool will do everything that this tool will do, but this gives you additional service functionality. So while it'll do the oil service resets, it will also do DPF regeneration. It'll do electronic park and brake, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor calibration, new battery registration, injector coding, and ABS brake bleeding. It is important for me to say though, that it doesn't do those service functions on all Mazda vehicles. So it's best to send us your VIN number using the email address below and we can check for you. We can give you the answer as to whether those service functions will work on your vehicle, all right? So that's the JP version 2.0 tool. So it's handy if you want more service functionality uh, and if you also want a tool that might cover uh, other Japanese and Korean models, all right? Then we're looking at the JP version 3.0 tool. This is uh, a step up from these two tools. So this tool could do everything that these tools can do, but it has additional service functionality. It's a small step up in price for a big step up in coverage and functionality. You can see the tool here, it looks a little bit different. The hardware is different which means the software is different. So because the software is different and kind of more advanced, it, it opens up the tool to more capabilities, okay? So this tool can do actuation test, it can do component testing, it's a bi-directional scan tool. It does transmission adaptions, air conditioning resets, engine adaptions and some of the adaptions and calibrations, things like headlamps, seat matching, things like that. But again, it's important for me to say it doesn't do those on all manufacturers, uh, sorry, all Mazda vehicles. So please do send us the VIN number and we can check for you. We'd, we'd hate for you to buy a tool and then realize it doesn't kind of do what it was supposed to do. So that's why we always ask you to check, all right? Um, that's the JP version 3.0. Again, it covers Japanese and Korean models. Uh, and it's been a really, really good tool. It packs a lot of software into one powerful unit, okay? So that's the three, and then we're looking at the CR Pro Kit. The CR Pro Kit has been a good seller for a number of years now, purely because of the, uh, the, the level of manufacturers that it covers. So it covers such a large um, manufacturer list, so it does absolutely everything. So let's say you've got 
Um, you've got a Mazda, but you've also got a BMW, an Audi, VW, Ford, Land Rover, Porsche, Renault, something like that. Um, this tool really does cover all of them. It matches the service capability of the version 2.0 tool. Just wrecking the display here. Absolutely wrecking the display. Um, yeah, so it matches the service functionality of the, the Vision 2.0 tool, but it does that for all of your manufacturers. So this has been a really good option, and it will continue to be because of, um, I think a lot of households these days, they generally tend to have more than one vehicle. So if you're buying a tool, it's a good idea to buy a tool that kind of covers all of your vehicles. Uh, and this this will generally, more, more often than not, will generally do that, okay? So that's the CR Pro Kit. We then move to this tool here, sticking with the multi-manufacturer packages. This is the the iCarsoft CR Max kit. It is the best tool on the table, hands down. It can do everything that all of these tools can do in one fast, intuitive tablet-based product. It has all of your software built in here, so it matches the service functionality of the version 3.0 tool. And that basically means that with this package, you get the best service functionality, you get the best manufacturer coverage, and you get the best system coverage within those manufacturers, okay? So it's, it, as I say, it's fast, it's easy to use, it doubles up as a, and like you can go online, you can put your apps on, you can put your emails on it, you can create reports on the diagnostics of the vehicle, you can send them to customers, you can print them, you can you could use them for your own service history records. Um, it just really, really packs a powerful punch, okay? Um, and you get free updates with all of these tools. It's important for me to say that because some of the other manufacturers like Autel, like Xtool, they will charge you sometimes up to 150 pounds per year, depending on which tool you're buying, just for the updates after the first year's updates. So with these tools, you get free updates for life. So once you bought the tool, that's it. You don't pay anything extra. There's no hidden costs or hidden extras with any of these tools, okay? Um, now, I did say earlier in the video that I would give you my recommendation on which of these tools I would buy for my personal Mazda, if it was my personal money. Um, there's two tools I would recommend, really depending on the, your circumstances. So if you wanted a tool which was just really focusing on your Mazda, uh, and you weren't really bothered about any other vehicles, then I would definitely recommend the version 3.0 tool. This is such a, a good package with a lot of software packed into it. It's really, really advanced for what it is and the price that you pay for it. So that tool, if you're just looking for a tool for your Mazda, and the bonus is that it covers other Japanese and Korean vehicles as well. Um, if you wanted a tool that covered your Mazda and you had a, a, a range of other vehicles to look after as well, let's say in your friends or your family circle and like a BMW, an Audi, a Porsche, Land Rover, Jaguar, something like that, then it would definitely be the CR Max kit. I can't stress enough how much value for money this tool is. Um, it's, it does all of your calibrations, adaptions, actuation tests, all of your diagnostics, code reading, resets, warning light resets in one package. Um, it's the most expensive tool on the table, but you know, it's such a good value for money tool because it packs everything into one package. Look, you could buy this for your Mazda, you could buy the equivalent tool for, let's say your BMW, so you had two tools, it, they would still be more expensive than this one tool here, and this one tool covers every manufacturer. So um, that's that's just such a, a good value for money tool, all right? Um, what else was I gonna say? Oh yeah, we've got the CR Ultra kit. This is a high-end package. This is quite expensive actually, it's the top, top line tool and it does everything that all of the dealers and the garages and the, the workshops and specialists can generally do. So the reason we put this in here is that just there are some people out there who just want the absolute best tool money can buy and if you fall into that category and money isn't an issue, then this is the tool for you. It is expensive at around £1,500 but the level of diagnostics, coverage and functionality you get from that tool is just the best out there okay so that's just the reason that i put that in there just in case any of you guys are lucky enough to fall into that category but for most mazda enthusiasts or owners users then what we see on the table is going to be more than sufficient for your needs okay if you're still unsure though about which tool to go for please send us an email the email address is in the description send us your vehicle information we will get back to you and let you know which tool to go for and i will put links to all of these in the description below this video thanks for watching guys and i hope this helps